guys, it's Karen and I have another Pawson box review. Um, I was lucky enough to be sent the Christmas box. So I have had a look inside this and um, tried one of the things with Watson because I wasn't ready to do a video. The last time it arrived, like, it was just in time for me to do a video. So I thought rather than doing a, an unboxing, I would give them a sort of mini review if you like. So, well actually one of the things I haven't tried at all and I've not even managed to open. This is what it looks like inside. In case I forget to tell you at the end, there is, I've got a 25% off discount code for you. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything that, like that, it's just 25% off for you guys off your first box if you're interested. So I'll put that in the description below. Um, so there are some toys, some food and what looks like a shampoo in here. Um, I just briefly looked at this yesterday when it arrived. The first thing are Christmas fillets and it says light on it and it these and I am pretty sure that Watson will like these actually it's funny there it says zero percent added sugar so that's really good because there's a lot of dog snacks that are really full of sugar um, now I've just opened these and thinking that they're probably chicken um, I don't know why I'm smelling them as if that will tell me let me have a look yeah these are chickens so really Watson shouldn't get these but I'm pretty sure that he will love them and I might just give him like half or one a day or something, you know, because he can tolerate a little bit of chicken, just not very much. Like if I gave him two of these, it would upset his tummy. Um, but they're very nice. And I think these are snacks that most dogs will like, you know, and I say that simply because my Watson is the fussiest dog on the planet. I mean, everybody that knows me and Watson knows Watson and I, excuse me, that knows Watson and I says he is the fussiest dog they've ever known. Um, and I have never known a dog as fussy as him. But any fillets like this, whether they're chicken or venison or whatever, he seems to like. So I'm pretty sure they will go down well with any dog. Um, next is this. And I, I do have a slight criticism of this in that it is, I believe from memory, that you fill in the type of dog you've got and whether it is a medium or a small or a large etc um, and i would say that this is more for a large dog but i do admit that could be just my i've only got experience with watson owning a dog I, we did have large dogs when we were younger but they didn't really have toys from what i remember um i don't remember them them having any toys at all which makes me kind of sad but this to me seems like a toy for a large dog like I haven't tried it with Watson because he's not really into toys and he's not, he likes like soft toys that he can rip apart. So I will um, most likely give this to a friend that has a large dog. But like I said, it's, it's only a slight criticism because I filled in that I've got a medium dog and I wouldn't have said that this was a medium dog toy, but that could be me. I could be wrong in that. You can feel free to correct me on that. If you've got a medium dog, you know, a spaniel sized dog that would love that, then feel free to tell me I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> Okay, another toy in here is a little Santa Claus and it's a nice little squeaky and again Watson's not that bothered about squeaky toys although like I could throw this down the hall and occasionally he would chase it so I think it's always good to have little squeaky toys around you know but um, he won't be particularly enamoured so the ones that we've got he's I think we've got about three left he does tend to like I might put this in the garden actually because he does tend to dig his teeth in them and end up popping them. So like I said, it's good to have more that I can sort of occasionally play fetch with him. You've got to remember as well, Watson's still a puppy. He's 13 months. In fact, what is the date? Is he 13 months? Yeah, he's 13 months. He's nearly 14 months. So he's still learning. So he doesn't yet play fetch. And I think he's, he's just starting to get an interest in toys now. Um, the next toy is this, and this I think he'll love. This is, they all say Merry Christmas on it actually, which is good because you could actually use these as presents. Um, saying that, I don't know whether this review will be up in time for you to order and get it for Christmas, but I thought that was really good about it. And this has got a little squeak in it as usual, but because this is a soft toy and it's got like these little things on it and this little beak, he will enjoy ripping these off for sure. So I know he's gonna love that. Then there's two little chocolate things. Um, the first one is this chocolate orange minis. This I was really surprised at, and it's by the Good Boy range, which I've heard of. You know, it's not a foreign one. Um, and they are just little tiny chocolate orange balls. Anyway, I gave him one of these yesterday. And the reason I was surprised is they smell exactly like the Jaffa 
Is it by Jaffa? No, it's not Jaffa, is it? You know, the, the Cabris, is it Cabris chocolate orange? The chocolate orange, they smell exactly like that. And my understanding is that most dogs don't like citrus. And I know that Watson's not that keen. He doesn't hate it, I don't think, but um, they smell very, very citrusy. So he sort of smelt it. And then he was like, mm, okay, I'll give it a taste. Put it in his mouth and he immediately spat it out and he is not interested in these at all. So I think that is a little bit of a, it's a novelty idea. And if you've got a dog that would eat anything, they might like that, I don't know. Um, then we've got these little Christmas puddings. And I'm assuming these are carob. And I gave him one of these. Let's see if they've got ingredients. Carob, <coughs> carob rice. Dairy and sugar-free white chocolate and cranberry. Um, and he did enjoy this, actually. And he's not really that fussed about... No, he is fussed about chocolate. I was going to say, I've got some little chocolate buttons. I was thinking, actually, his friend Lola doesn't eat chocolate at all. Um, but I've got some little white doggy chocolate buttons and some little dark chocolate buttons. Um, and he did eat this, and he was quite happy to eat this. So those ones were a winner. <laughs> so it was just those chocolate orange ones he wasn't fussed for. The final thing is this Biogent. Oh, I know the reason I hadn't opened this is because it's got a little um, stopper on it. And I am definitely going to use this. And I wanted to see what it smelt like. If it was, mm, it, it is fragranced. It's a shampoo. It's a, it says protein plus shampooing, wheat protein, gently cleanses and nourishes in deep, all types of coat, frequent use. This is pH neutral, which is really good. Um, it's a shame that it's got fragrance in it. To me, I wish it was fragrance free, but it's talking about here that it's for, a dog doesn't have the same skin as a human. Their skin is more delicate and it's thinner because the pH balance of their skin is much more sensitive. That's why it's important to buy shampoo, especially formulated for the skin of your dog. And this is formulated with active organic and natural ingredients to respect and protect the natural condition of your pet's skin. This brand also offers products with no parabens, no phenoxethanol, and no animal oils. Their products are ideal for cleaning and caring for your pet's skin whilst not damaging its natural state. So yeah, I'm interested in using this because Watson does have sensitive skin anyway. Um, but like I said, I would have preferred it if it didn't have a fragrance. But most of the shampoos that we use do have a fragrance. The doggy shampoos we use for him do have a fragrance. Um, and the one that we were using has actually just gone out of stock. So I'll be interested to try that. And actually, my husband washed him yesterday. So if he didn't only could have used that and I could have reported back to you. But um, no, all in all, I think it's a good box. Like I said, my only... It's, it's not there. It's not the box's fault that Watson is so fussy that he doesn't like these. My only tiny criticism would be about this. But like I said, you might just say, oh, my small chihuahua would love this. I don't know. I'll try it on him. I might be surprised. He might end up loving tugging on that. So as I said, I was sent this box, but I'm, I'm not being paid for this review or anything like that. It's just an honest review of the box. Um, I've got that discount code for you, which, like I said, is not an affiliate link. And I think that's everything. Um, I, I'm not going to be signing up for the box at the moment, because I, as you know, Kev and I have lost our jobs. So if Kev gets a job and I start earning in kind of February, March, it is something that I would consider signing up for because I think there are things like this Biogents I wouldn't know about. Um, and the toys and things that you get in it, not so much those fillets, but there were some treats in the last one. They're things that I don't see in pets at home and whatnot, and so that's kind of novel. You know, it's nice to get things that are different that you wouldn't have seen in the shops. Um, so I, I, it's definitely something I would consider once we are more financially stable. So that's everything. Thank you very much for watching today, and I'll speak to you again soon.